It's Saturday, December 9, 2023. And you can see behind me that the landscape has changed a little overnight. Uh, yesterday afternoon, it started to snow and uh, we got quite a little bit of a storm last night. <clears throat> now the dynamics involved were a fairly nice day. And you know, if you've been watching the vlogs, it's been warm here. It's been up to five, six degrees in the daytime most of this week. Uh, so, so everything was warm. And you think about the highways and the roads are warm. Uh, you know, the yard, the ground is warm. And so yesterday afternoon, the temperature dropped below freezing and we started getting some snow and we actually started getting some rain to start with. And so that turns everything to ice. The roads are terrible. A lot of the highways in the area have been closed. There's been some power outages. Um, not the worst storm as storms go, but uh, I'm glad I wasn't um, out on the road. I'm glad I didn't have to go anywhere. Um, we, we were out yesterday afternoon, um, but we got home before things got really bad. Uh, so as you can see, there's an inch of snow out here, you know, maybe more. Uh, but regardless, hope I can get the little tractor inside tonight. It's about minus five outside right now. So what I've got going here today, I've got some, some off cuts and whatnot up on my table saw. I'm going to run these through the table saw and make uh, half inch shims out of them for covers. Okay. I'm, I'm not going to cut them to length. Um, I've got a, a whack of, uh, uh, one by 10 here that I've cut to rough length. So it's a little bit longer than I need. And I'm going to slice all those to half inch uh, strips for the covers coming up. And that's just so that I can, uh, you know, there's, there's always going to be a lot of waste here, especially when you're cutting off cuts because, because you get a, each piece, you might get one out of that or might get two. So there's going to be plenty of waste and then I can get rid of the waste. I can wrap up the pieces and I can store them a lot easier uh, and they're a lot more convenient to use when the time comes because they're already going to be half inch uh, thick and then I can just take them over to the radial arm saw and cut them to length when I need to put the covers together. So I wrap them up in bundles of, I forget how many, 50 I think go in a bundle for these. Uh, so they're very convenient to grab a bundle of 50. I'm usually building pallets in multiples of 50s or 100s or actually these are covers. So same thing, 50s or 100s or 150, 200. So I can just grab bundles. And that's about all I'm doing here. I'll show you some of the details. Of course, I have two uh, general descriptions of uh, product here that I'm going to cut up. One is a uh, one by 10 ish. And, you know, I've never really measured these. <clears throat> they make box sides out of these, so they've got to be more than nine and a half. And that is just a sixteenth under ten inches. So what I need to do with this, because the, this is rough lumber, I need to just run it through so the, the blade just makes this straight. So I'll have to do all of those. And then I can turn them around and then cut half inch strips against that okay and the one thing i want to watch for here is is things like this so on my first cut i want to straighten this side so that then i can start with my pieces going this way so whatever off cut i end up with is going to be on this side so i can lose as much of that knot as as is possible but what I'm going to do first <clears throat> is I have a bunch of these off cuts. And again, this is all 7 8 material. So some of you might not be as familiar with it. That eighth makes a big difference over three quarter. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this through uh, just to run half inch strips because there's one uh, milled side already. And uh, I'll just run that through here. Now I have my, my feather board set very much at an angle because these pieces kind of vary in width but I want the feather board to hold it toward the fence so I only have one maybe two fingers touching there uh, so it's more forgiving when the piece is a little a little wider I have I have a rip blade it's, it's very coarse 
uh, very large teeth with lots of space between and what that does is when you're ripping along the grain uh, it gives the saw a lot of space to eject chips when you're cross cutting you can have a blade that's got far more teeth because the chips are much smaller and easier to eject this blade is also a fairly narrow kerf which is nice because that's going to save me some material here i might get two pieces out of this where whereas with a regular eighth inch or even my other blades are actually a tiny bit more than eighth inch wide i might not get two pieces or i might you know i might get one more piece out of this because i'm using this this uh thin kerf they call it the kerf is the amount of material the blade removes so I've got a few random pieces. This is a bit of dunnage. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I just threw it on there. And, and other, other random bits I'll cut up. Um, but those are the exception. Most of this stuff is kind of this size. This one's a bit short. Most of it is about this long, which is nice. So I'll just run that side along the fence. There's big knots and everything everywhere, but you know, I'll cut it up. If it's not going to make a part, then fine, it gets burnt. Get half an inch. I only got one out of that. This is too thin, so it's, it's junk. So I need to keep that separate. nice using a, a new blade looks like I get one out of most of these by that I want to do the other way It's Sunday, December 10th, 2023. I'm trying not to get too involved. Today it's Sunday and, you know, I've got a busy week coming up, so I'd like to uh, end the day not feeling any exhausted. However, yesterday I cut uh, all of those off cuts uh, up into half inch strips. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna run these through the radial arm saw uh, some of these actually look pretty good, but got a great big knot at the end. So, um, again, these are these are particularly cut to be what I call a long shim for the covers, which will be 20 and an eighth to 20 and a quarter long. And if it's got, you know, this one is cracked, so it ended up shorter than that. Uh, so what I've done here is I've set up the saw uh, the rip the uh, crosscut fence here to be 15 and an eighth. I see what's 15 and an eighth. Well, 15 and an eighth is 16 and five eighths, less than an inch and a half. So uh, these these uh, long shims on the side plus the short short shim in the middle then will equal the width of the box, which is 16 and five eighths. So these are just going to be, and these have to be cut fairly accurately because they're going to determine the spacing of those two long shims. And so therefore I want this to be pretty close. And some of these are not going to be even long enough for that. Uh, you see this one was, was cut and it's, it's still rough from here. So I can't really de de depend on it being half an inch thick. So that'll get cut shorter yet. Now I should be making some six frame covers, which again have an overall width of 11 inches. 
and so less an inch and a half from that that's nine and a half so I can use this then for a nine and a half end uh, short shim on a six frame cover so I can just go through these as as these come along I don't know if that was long enough for anything but I'll put them aside here and then when I am done the, the first round <clears throat> I can run run the short ones through again and see if they're going to be long enough for uh, for the uh, six frame that's a judgment call I think I'm going to use that one because the short shim it goes right at the end inside the end cleat uh, and it's yeah it's pretty well half an inch there so that's uh, that's what I'm going to do here right now I can deck them up and I can get them I can get them too high I don't like to do this with the saw running so I can get them too high that one's barely long enough actually I don't think that one no, we'll cut it I can cut it if it turns out it's not long enough then I'll just put it in the pile for the for the next smaller piece off cuts you know off cuts are money in the bank uh, the price of lumber these days you need to get it down to the smallest piece possible I said nine and a half for an 11 inch cover. Which should be right there. It's exactly right there. run these off cuts through there you get closer to the blade you have to just be that much more careful
Tuesday, December 12th, 2023. It's about 8.30 a.m. You can see how low the sun is still. Maybe you can see it <laughs> right over there on the horizon. And it's been, I think it came up nearly an hour ago. So it doesn't get very high these days. So I got the diesel going again this morning. Heading off into Winnipeg. Same routine. It's about minus 11 right now. It's a little chilly. Go over here out of the wind. <clears throat> Any breeze is a wind when it's minus 11. Uh, yesterday on Monday, a uh, nice, uh, nice day. You know, not anything too exciting, but I went up to a few stores that I have. I guess three of them. Wrote a few really nice invoices there. Uh, well, I dropped off corresponding product too. <laughs> uh, so that was a good day. Did a bunch more stuff around here. Just kind of trying to get everything in order and cleaned up before the new year. I don't want to drag out too many huge projects before Christmas. Uh, I'd rather have things fairly clean and clear and stowed away for uh, for that period. Who knows, it might be able to get a truck in the garage if I get it cleaned up enough. And a little tractor will stay in there, you know, at the very least. Yeah, so today is just to go to Winnipeg, do deliveries and errands, trying to do some Christmas shopping for for meals and stuff. So that's about all that's going on today. We've got a bee club meeting tonight. It's not a meeting either, it's a social night. So we got a bee club social night tonight. That's always fun. We meet at a place where we can have food and drinks and, and carry on and as we uh, tend to do. Look at the eyes on my, my bee barn here. <laughs> the sun reflects off of the lights on the other building. That looks kind of funny. And so, yeah, so I'm freezing my fingers off and uh, I'm going to get in the truck here pretty quick and head off. Just letting it warm up, get warm inside for me. So I hope you have a great day and take care. Have fun. It's Friday, December 15th, 2023. I've got my little orange buddy out here. And this is, uh, this is the view of the apiary on the 15th of December. Look at there's uh, really not very much snow here by the building here. The snow has melted because it was, uh, I think it was four or five degrees yesterday. It's melted quite a bit of snow. So I can't complain about the, uh, the weather this winter. It's been very, very nice. We haven't had any major storms. Uh, we haven't had any super duper cold weather. And we haven't had very much snowfall here, accumulation at least. We haven't had a situation where the highways are really bad. Last weekend the highways got bad for a couple days, uh, but that's all. Now this week, um, it's been pretty busy. I've been doing a lot of store visits this week, and uh, I just want to make sure everybody is uh, stocked up, ready for the the holiday season when maybe some stores are not going to be open and maybe I'm not going to be in a position to go and stock the shelves. I don't plan to be going out again until after New Year to be honest. So I want to make sure they're all loaded up and load them up I did. And everybody was very receptive to that idea and so I stocked the shelves and uh, wrote some pretty nice invoices. Uh, that's nice because January is a slow month, February, March are too, but uh, these invoices I'm writing are my January income. Uh, so that's uh, really nice that I can do that. We had our B Club, B Club party uh, Tuesday night, and so it was really nice. It's, you know, it's it's a small gathering. There's There seems to be a core of two dozen people who really take that kind of thing in. Um, but it's really nice that they come out anyway. We had good time, good food, good drinks. And uh, uh, I wasn't out super late, but it is a long drive. And, and I, I got some rest on Wednesday before I started at it again. I went out to some more stores. Thursday was a fairly long day as well, but I got finished up. And today is my day to breathe. 
<laughs> had a little market yesterday actually and I was at another one of these senior centers pretty low-key I go set up in the common room and and uh, just talk to the seniors as they come by to get some honey and whatnot uh, so pretty low-key don't make a ton of money at those but making the money isn't isn't always always the point you know sometimes it's just about doing something that's enjoyable something that's something that's maybe worth something to somebody else i know the seniors appreciate it when people go and do this kind of thing so anyway uh that's it for this week there's not a lot going on here um I just came out to the apiary to grab some stuff out of the building and uh it's only it's only like uh minus one i think it is here right now and it's about three o'clock in the afternoon three three o'clock in the afternoon and look where the sun is <laughs> it'd be down in another hour uh yeah that's winter that's winter in manitoba um yeah i don't think there's anything else for me to talk about so i will close this off thank you for watching and i'll put it together for you um and wish you a really great weekend i'll talk to you again before christmas and hopefully next week is awesome too um i hope you're doing well i hope you're really doing well and uh, i hope the christmas season um, is a really good one for you and you get to spend time with friends and family i hope you're healthy so i wish you well and uh, have a really great weekend take care and have fun